Jesus Christ himself was baptized by John the Baptist under instruction from God himself. And so we're to follow his example in baptism. Uh, Romans, 6, it's Romans 6 is what we always read, and I think it covers the meaning of baptism more than any other uh, passage in the Bible. It explains what baptism really means, and uh, if you're out there and you've never been baptized after you've been saved, you need to do that under the instruction of God's Word. Amen? Amen. You need to be obedient to the Scriptures. And so uh, we're very thankful that Cheyenne Maynard and, and Sister Carol Kitty uh, have truly been saved and born again and given their heart to Christ. And so we're going to celebrate that through this public profession of letting the whole world know that they are now a truly new creature in Christ. And so uh, we're going to read uh, Romans chapter 6 here. So it says here, verse 1, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore we're buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, and henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe we also shall live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dies no more, sin has no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, and in that he lives, he lives unto God. Likewise reckon you also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Yourself. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Face that way. You need to hold your nose for you need to do. Carol Key, by your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> It takes a lot of courage when everybody around you thinks that you're saved. And you finally realize that you're not. You have to drop your pride. Amen. And she dropped hers and realized she's saved. Amen. When she has Christ in her heart this time. Amen. And we love you and we're so proud of you, dear. So shine and it by your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I baptize you, my little sister, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank <laughs> you. 